Many of the women who consult me ask, "Doctor, is vaginal birth after cesarean possible?" Yes, it is. Statistics show that 60 percentage to 80 percentage of women can have vaginal birth after a cesarean section. Today, let us understand what are the advantages and disadvantages of having a vaginal birth after cesarean. Who are the women who are eligible for that, and how and where it should be done? Coming to the pros, vaginal birth, you can have a short hospital stay and a quick recovery. There are less of complications like infection or bleeding. You can have many childbirths as possible. The major disadvantage is rupture of the uterus, which can happen in less than one percentage of pregnancies. In that condition, it's a life-threatening complication both for the mother and the babe. Emergency surgeries should be conducted at that time, which may include even removal of the womb. Now, coming to the women who are eligible for vaginal birth after cesarean, those who have had cesarean sections for non-recurrent conditions, those. who have had a lower uterine incision those who have no complications during this pregnancies women who are having an average baby weight and a good pelvis those who have had no surgeries on the uterus before and those who have had vaginal births before where and how it should be done it should be done in a properly equipped facility or institution where there is a nicu there is a blood bank and there is an operation theater constant monitoring of the mother and the baby are required for vaginal birth after cesarean it is very important that you talk to your doctor or healthcare provider before deciding on a vaginal birth after cesarean